The following segment is sponsored by Apple Federal Credit Union. Every industry and every aspect of our daily lives has been changed by the COVID-19 pandemic, and that goes for banking as well. So I asked the questions you want to know. I caught up with Rebecca Brown from Apple Federal Credit Union for some tips on how to stay safe and access your money. Rebecca, so good to see you. I know this is a crazy time for all of us, but how are you at Apple Federal Credit Union staying in touch with your customers and making sure they're getting all the answers they need? Yeah, good morning, Kristen. Thanks so very much for the time to talk to you today. Yeah, it certainly has been some unsettling times these last couple of weeks. Um, if we had thought we would need to go to this level of uh, changes, we would have um, imagined it not possible. Uh, but our team has really rallied together, and um, it's important for folks to remember that when um, stores are closing down or you see retailers uh, shuttering their doors, um, that will not be true with banking. We want all of our members to rest assured um, that the banking sector will remain open and available to our clients. So what we have done is made some measures to adhere to social distancing mandates. We've closed some branches uh, that don't have drive through locations and really to turn our drive through branches, um, increase the services that our members can receive through the drive through and then schedule appointments to see a representative if they need some other level of essential banking services. Say they need access to their safe deposit box or need a notary. Uh, we have encouraged our members to use online and mobile banking where they can conduct most transactions, transferring money between different banks, uh, between people, paying bills, um, and of course they can deposit checks using mobile deposit. Um, and during this time we have increased our daily and monthly limits for check deposits to make it easier for our members. Uh, our call center is fully staffed with agents and with some folks working from the branches so that we can assist them in that manner. And then again, if they do need that face-to-face -face contact, we've set up special phone numbers for them to call to be able to schedule an appointment to see someone. So it's awesome to know that, that somebody is there for you at all times if you have any questions, whether it's just picking up the phone. As we all navigate this time, what, um, how can we effectively navigate banking? What questions should we be asking? Um, what should we be on the lookout for during this time? Yeah, so the first thing to remember is the best source of um, resource during this time is going to be your financial institution. Visit their website and see how they are helping you as a member or as a customer. At Apple, we have made decisions to waive fees, for instance, so we're not charging ATM fees and we're refunding our members their fees should they need it. Uh, we have allowed them to, if they need to close a certificate early, doing that penalty free, we waive checking fees, for instance. Um, and we've even gone so far as for our members who may have received a reduction in pay or are having trouble uh, paying bills, we've created an emergency relief loan. So the best place to go is your own institution first because they have your best needs in mind. Uh, you also just want to be wary of institutions that are reaching out to you that you have no relationship with. Uh, and if the offer seems too good to be true, it may just be. We're finding that unfortunately criminals are not quarantining and they are taking advantage of the crisis uh, and trying to trick folks into uh, providing personal or account information, uh, sometimes via email, sometimes via text. Um, and we want to make sure that all consumers are staying safe during this time and not providing those types of information. Kind of a good reminder of, that we always talk about with, with criminals that come through during a crisis, you know, not opening those emails that look suspicious, not yeah. taking those phone calls from people that you don't know, calling your institution and talking to somebody that you trust. Now, I, have a, a, I have a question for you. Even though the branches aren't closing down and people still have access to their money, do you recommend people having um, like some cash at home, like some hard cash at home? If it makes them comfortable, absolutely. Uh, ATMs are still accessible and available. Your branches, while they may have limited hours, are likely still accessible to you. So I would say have any amount that makes you comfortable, but I don't think there's any reason to have to keep large amounts of cash on hand. You guys have been doing some incredible things during this time, really giving back. What's the latest? What, what big announcement do you have? Yeah, so in our 65-year history, uh, giving really has been at the core of who Apple Federal Credit Union is. Uh, and we, in the next week, along with our foundation, are going to be making a donation of $120,000 to local charities who are helping our families in crisis um, achieve um, a sense of peace about where they're going to find their next meal or helping with housing assistance 
um, and for some immediate or short-term shelter needs, perhaps. So we really want to be able to support our community uh, every single day, uh, but now most assuredly as uh, everybody is in um, the state of um, uncharted territory and uh, personal uh, people of it. Yeah, you all, like all of us, have had to pivot a little bit. We're used to showcasing these great com these great uh, community organizations and the donations and support you guys have provided. But we appreciate that you are still um, exceeding your 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 goal and giving uh, back to the community. So thank you and everybody at Apple for everything that you do. Oh, you're welcome. We want to take our resources and use them with both wisdom and purpose. So we really do hope that this will help alleviate um, some of the worry folks may have in their hearts. Rebecca, thank you, and stay safe and be well. Thanks, you too, Kristen. Bye now. For more information on all the wonderful things Apple Federal Credit Union does in the community, go to applefcu.org community.